Look how fast those clouds are moving. It seems like every time we come out to do a video recently, no matter what the weather forecast is, it kind of looks like this. It's kind of dramatic looking the day actually, but real gloomy, not one bit of sun. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and another video. So in this week's video, we wanted to try out the 23mm F1.4 from TT Artisan, which was kindly sent to us by the team over at TT Artisan. So thanks for sending it over. Um, as you may know, recently, or like a few months ago, is it a few months ago? We got the 35mm F2 for the X-T3, which is the lens we had on the camera we, when we were in Italy and stuff. And uh, the other lens that I was debating getting during that time was a 23mm. Now I was looking at the Fujifilm 23mm, but I haven't actually tried a 23mm focal length at all. So I was intrigued to see if I would like the 23mm focal length as much as I do the 35mm. And with this lens, I was also interested to see how a budget lens would perform. This lens is literally just over 100 pound brand new, I think. So yeah, took a little wander during the week to a few different spots and took some photos. And just to let you know, it was also quite cloudy on those days as well.
because it was so cloudy on all those days we were taking photos, I was hoping to kind of take some more today, but uh, that's definitely not going to be the case because there's just nothing happening. And it's getting quite late. So just in case you didn't already know, the 23mm from TT Artisan and a lot of their other lenses are all manual focus. So they don't really talk to your camera. You can't um, just press a button and focus. There won't be any beeping. And you don't really know what aperture you're in because it doesn't display that on the back of the screen. Um, the manual focus side of things, a little bit of a faff. I didn't really enjoy it at all. Um, some of those photos that are in there, the focus isn't really nailed uh, because it was quite tricky. And the first few hours of taking those photos, I couldn't get the magnification thing to happen when you're trying to manually focus. I actually had to watch a video um, that night on how to do it because yeah, doing it on a Fuji is just a little bit tricky. So yeah, the manual focus side of things, a little bit annoying. I just want to touch on the build quality, first of all. Um, feels pretty good actually. I believe it's a full metal lens and it just feels really nice. I think it looks kind of cool too. They've went for sort of retro design here with the sort of uh, brushed like stainless steel or whatever it is. And uh, yeah, feels quite small, but also feels quite nice to use. Um, the aperture and the focus ring and all. Yeah, feels pretty nice for a lens. It's just over a hundred pound. It's definitely just a little cold to be standing around doing this outside back in the car. Um, but when it comes to the sort of technical aspects of a lens, I couldn't really care less about all that stuff. I don't really read all the spec lists and everything. Just not my type of thing. I find it quite boring. And what I'm worried about is, can I get good photos with it? Will the focal length work for my style of photography? And at the start when we were using this lens, I thought, I don't think this is gonna work. It's quite wide. Every shot I went to take, it just felt like I want to zoom in a little bit more. I want to use the 35 mil possibly instead. But after wandering around the beach, like you've seen, and taking a few portraits and stuff, um, I got a little bit more used to it and I can definitely see myself getting some nice shots with it. I'm not sure if I would use it as much as the 35 mil, but I think we got some decent shots in there and I, I definitely feel that like I could add it to the kit and metro onto the camera every now and then. F1.4 is nice for like certain portraits and stuff and if you're in low light but the only problem with it is and it's quite a substantial one is the vignetting with this lens when you shoot wide open at f1.4. You'll see in a few of the photos I'll pop on screen now it's quite drastic and if you're in certain scenarios like where the sky's in the background you can clearly see it it really darkened the foreground in a few shots uh, the corners are also really soft it, it almost looks strange in certain photos i know i am shooting at 1.4 so there's serious depth there but like it's I, I don't know you can almost see where it changes it's not like a smooth uh, like drop off with focus uh, a little bit strange looking so I definitely wouldn't be using this lens at f1.4 too much. Um, both the vignetting and the really soft corners does definitely improve when you stop down a little bit. Um, a few of those photos I believe we took at f2 and maybe some of them at f4. It's definitely a lot better. So if you're thinking about getting this lens, um, yeah, I would advise stopping down a little bit. Definitely helps things. It is actually a decently sharp lens too. Again, as you can see with most of those portraits that we took, uh, yeah, pretty pretty happy with the um, sharpness of it, even at like f2 and stuff. Yeah, pretty decent when it comes to sharpness. Them clouds are dropping down low. Mm -hmm. I don't think, don't think there's anybody hiking up there because I don't see any cars about. But if there were, definitely getting a bit sketchy. But the main question I think is, would I recommend this lens? And I think if you're looking for a budget lens or if you're just wanting to try out the focal length, it probably does make sense because I don't think you're really gonna find many options at this price brand new and definitely probably not at f1.4 either. But I wouldn't recommend it using it at f1.4, like I said. So um, if you're thinking about getting it, I would kind of just assume you're going to use it a lot of the time, probably at f2. Um, but I think it makes sense if you're looking for a real budget option or you just want, you just fancy a 23 mil and you want to maybe throw it in the bag and have it from time to time. Um, I think it probably does make sense. 
but it only makes sense if you're aware that it's manual focus and you're happy enough using a manual focus lens. This is the first time I've used a manual focus lens on the Fuji or any digital camera. And um, compared to just being able to tap and focus, it's definitely a faff, quite annoying. And I literally said to you, didn't I? Don't ever let me buy a manual focus <laughs> lens. Yes. <laughs> when we were doing the video at the start, but that was before I was able to figure out how to get the magnification thing to work. Um, the peaking and the digital prism and stuff that sort of is supposed to help you on the Fuji to focus, I didn't really find to be that good. Um, the peaking kind of always says things are in focus. It's, it's a little bit annoying and I missed focus on a lot of shots. So be aware of that. It is a budget lens, um, like I said, sharp and stuff like that, but it is manual focus. So a lot slower and a lot more of a faff. Good word. It's a good word, isn't it? A faff, that's what manual focusing <laughs> on this camera is, I think anyway. Yeah, focusing's tricky. Also, just in case you're wondering, I went to a Turkish barber during the week and just as we were finishing up the haircut, he just decided to trim both my eyebrows and they look <laughs> much different than they did before, which is very annoying and random. Just in case you're wondering. But uh, yeah, quite interesting trying out a different lens. Um, hopefully you like some of those photos. It wasn't the greatest week of photography at all, but I could have been trying to do this video, video for the next three weeks and it might still look the same. So <laughs> I thought I would share my thoughts on it, share the photos and stuff. Um, I quite like the portraits that we got of each other, I think, kind of cool to have. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on the 23mm f1.4 from TT Artisan. Again, thanks to the guys over there for sending it over. And uh, hopefully you got something from this in some way or other. Clouds are definitely getting lower. Um, one more thing before we finish. The reason why this video was delayed even longer again was because I've been working on the website and the preset pack like I mentioned uh, a video or two ago. Coming soon. It's coming soon. Presets are coming soon. Stay tuned. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you found this one helpful in some way or other. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing. And... Uh, is that it? I think that's it. Thumbs up. I think that's it. As we always say, guys, take it easy. Don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. <laughs>